Hey guys, you're watching the video of the Slayer of MCA. Now welcome y'all to this very, very special video. And today, as you guys can see from the title, we're gonna be opening one of these bad boys, the Chilling Rain Booster Box that I just received last week. But before I do, I just wanna quickly explain to you guys the background. I uh, have already actually went to some of the Chilling Rain pre-releases in our local game shop here in Christchurch, New Zealand. So I've already had the uh, alternate art Articuno V, which is right here, this bad boy. Look at that, oh, so perfect, almost as if it was in a slow, uh, in a uh, snow globe. But also the regular Galarian Articuno V. And just to complete the Articuno trio, I had the Rising Rivals, All Nippon Airways reprint, Secret Rare Articuno right here, badass of a hollow foil card. So without further ado, I'm going to proceed to open up one of these bad boys and see what we can pull. I have here two boxes, one here and the other on top, but uh, I am only interested in opening just the one. So yeah guys, um, I don't know if you guys seen or follow me on Instagram, but I have been injured and off work for the next sort of two weeks and if not more. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I... Um, I play semi-professional badminton uh, for my region here in Christchurch and uh, yeah, I tore and snapped partially, partial tear of my Achilles tendon on my right leg. So now I'm limping around and you guys can see the crutches in the back there. Um, but uh, yeah, and on some pretty strong painkillers. Um, so today I am actually not working for once, which is... Uh, and I'm actually awake for once. So I'm gonna be here opening up these bad boys. This is my first booster box opening in like oof, years and years and years. So I'm very, very stoked and excited to be doing this for y'all. So look at the legendary birds. We're gonna go with the left side first. Let's see what I can get. We have the Galarian Zapdos in the front. And as you guys can see, it says UK and uh, Canada. So not like the usual ones where in the packet it says nothing, it will be printed in the US. So very, very interesting um, to note that they have that distinguishing factor now. The wrappers on the pack, they're so brittle, can't even open them properly. Um, what is nice as well is that they've got rid of the different code cards. So now it, every one of them should be theoretically green. So let's see what we can get here. We have a Hatina. Cub, cub foo, cub foo. Yep, that's the one. Uh, ghastly, cast form, shuff it, coughing. The rare is Anthros to start everything off for my chilling rain booster box experience. Perfect. So I'm gonna go with the right side. Let's see if this time round we can open this up better. But yeah, guys, uh, at least healthcare here in New Zealand is free, so I've got that going for me, which is pretty nice. Uh, some of yours I know in the States have had it quite rough. Um, let's see what we have here. We have a rock rough. Just gonna make sure my bulk is somewhat organized on the side there. We have an Inke, La Vesta, Diglett, a Furfur, Porygon 2. This used to be the craze back in the day. Where is a Duck Trio? <laughs> I, um, I laugh because uh, I actually won a lot of my pre-release games using the Duck Trio and its special uh, attack where I think if I think some of the, I think if all three let's have a look at it I think it says uh, if for each head so if all of them my heads prevent all attacks done onto you in the next round so um, I use that and the luck of the Poke Gods to win quite a few of my pre-release games. So again, the booster packs. Oh, they're so gosh darn hard to open up. Um, code card. Don't seem to be another hit here, but let's have a look to see what we have. We have a Blitzo. Beautiful. I love how it's just standing uh, just in the middle of the ocean, lake. And then that little iconic uh, pink tree in the middle as the theme of the entire set. Snover, Sneasel, Surlix, Porygon, regular boy. We have a bond suite. The rare is finally our first, first, first hollow is a greedent. I'm gonna sleeve up me, me hollows, and then I don't think there's anything awesome of note for my um, uncommon. So I have my two dollar penny sleeve, which isn't really a penny sleeve because it's two bucks, so it's more than just a penny. Two pennies. We have a greedent here. Get in there, perfecto. You are going. I don't know where to put this guy here. Okay, moving on to the next pack. 
what I'm hoping for is um, if I will be able to pull something nice. Oh, okay, so I'm trying, starting to figure out probably not very possible for me to do the usual opening for the packs just because of how they're sealed. Look at that. Um, but yeah, guys, I have such bad pull luck uh, of, of uh, when I was at the pre-release. Um, everybody was pulling gold cards, alternate arts and stuff, and here's me with like no hollows. So hopefully this is better for me. Um, Golette, Diglett again, a score bunny, a skull with it. Aaron, the rare is a Zangoose, another one of these bad boys. I don't know how many of these guys I pulled <laughs> during my pre-release, but yeah, um, very, very excited. This is my first time opening a booster pack, a uh, booster box of a pack, which has been, I would say, a good solid uh, couple of years. Is, is, um, maybe since my uh, hot gold soul silver days. Crowfish apparently has a good card to cast from, a Weedle doing sit-ups with hair across at the back, a Snow Runt, Crabrawler. Reverse is a Agatha, beautiful elite for a lady. And the rare is a Glade. And a couple of these energies, Peonia, Ledian, and a Doctor. Perfecto, okay, we're on to the next pack. What I'm excited about when I open these booster boxes is we are at least guaranteed like a certain amount of, uh, ooh, look at that, 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 that's looking really badass right there. Ooh, uh, Okay, just gonna get the cold card out of the way without knowing what I pulled. Okay, cool, perfect. What I like, as I was saying about the booster boxes, is you never know, uh, well, you are guaranteed a certain amount of rares or hollow foils compared to blister packs or battle and build kits and, ooh, okay. Is it me or is it getting hot in here with crushing gloves? And the rare is, ooh, Meta Girls V Max. this is, not an alternate art or anything, but oh, epic as Metagross. Look at that. Gen 3, Steven, goodness. Steven is the champion of Gen 3, if I remember correctly. Gonna sleeve the bad boy up. Ultra Pro sleeves. Man, here, sleeves and top loaders, they are like rarer than gold these days. Just waiting to get shipment uh, to New Zealand from the States. It has been really a pain in the ass, not gonna lie. Um, Anybody, anytime in our local group page that finds any uh, any um, like packs or top loaders, they spread the word and it is just gone within the hour. <laughs> Venipede wrote Aaron, Aaron, Galerian Farfetched, and the rare is a Salzbuck. Haven't seen this bad boy in a wee while since the I think Diamond and Pearl days. Um, and then our doctor to finish it off. On to the next pack. Okay, so so far we have one hollow and one VMAX. And I'm just hoping for dear life that this booster box will be kind to me. And maybe with a bit of luck from the Poke Gods, I will pull something nice. That looks like, I know I always spoil myself, but that looks like a V card itself. But what is it? We will soon find out a score bunny. A Grookey. <laughs> I love how it's whacking its stick onto the uh, tree stump. Crabrawler. With all of his berries and his mates in the forest. A skull with it. Ladybug. Lucky energy. I love that. I love the stars on the side as well. The rare is Articuno V. Oh, we got that V. Articuno Galarian goodness right there. Okay. Should this be brother and son? Yeah, why not? Um, Another of these penny sleeves, that's not a penny sleeve, maybe it's two penny sleeves since it's two bucks. Um, in you go. Oh, I love that feeling when you put it so smoothly into the sleeve. We have here Galarian Zepdos in the front, let's see what I can get here. But yeah guys, let me know if you guys are uh, keen on the next set that's coming up. I saw that there was not going to be many other uh, Pokemon card products that are going to be coming out in the next month of uh, July, but we still have um, uh, evolving skies to look out for. Oh, another V. Oh, look at that. Single strike Galarian Sloking. That is two hits in a row. I love the gem and the jewel on the forehead, um, how it shines just like that. It's another V card, but it is not an alternate art of any sort. So, so far, so far, we have I'll do, I'll do a, um, 
we have more like uh, non we have more like epic pose than the regular hollows like we have galarian slow king v we have articuno v with metacross v and then we have this greeting boy which is uh, hoarding up all his berries <laughs> I love uh, I love shaking the berries in the game for Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, the berry trees, and waiting for Greedon to come down. Um, it always brings a smile to my face. Just makes Pokemon cards that much more lively, in my opinion. Well, Pokemon itself. Um, let's see what I can get in this pack here. Lavesta. All right. Diglett. Furfro. Bon Sweet. Sobo. Weezing. Oh, there we go. It's a rare card as well. Wow, that's very nice. I think I might sleeve it up if it is a uh, if it's a if it's a rare card. Oh, Galarian Slowking! Oh my goodness! Wow, it's holding on to that year wax. I was gonna say <laughs> that 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 goo that's coming out of its head. Wow, I don't know if it's focusing. Yes, it is focusing for you guys. I think. Wow! Oh my goodness! That is such a beautiful card. The artwork is just. It makes it, you know, it just makes Pokemon cards come into life. Just, it just makes it that much more believable that there is a world out there with Pokemon instead of animals like horses and stuff. So, oh, I am excited. I don't know if you guys um, can hear it from my voice. But yeah, guys, I have just been recuperating at home after that big ass injury playing badminton, badminton, whatever you guys want to call it. We have here Porygon for Galarian Farfetch and a leak. Deli Bird, Coughing, Ghastly, Curlier. The rare is Volcarona. All right, an energy, Caitlyn. This is the waifu card of the set. I'm trying to get the full art, Peony, to finish it off. Trilling Rain, another. Yeah, I think they got rid of how they printed the packs. You see, I, oh no, no, maybe I can do it. Look, I'm gonna try very hard to open this pack without breaking the wrappers. Mm, all right. Kind of got it, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, so they, they have, oh, okay, ripped anyway. Okay, there is just that collector set of me that is really adamant on keeping cards and wrappers perfectly sealed. Uh, Sphiel, Venipede, Furfro, Galarian Farfetch'd, Sneasel, Zepstrika, which is a rare, put that on the side, and Abomina Snow, haha. <laughs> Energy, Dr. Clara. We also have that Clara waifu card that I'm looking to be able to secure. Um, but yeah guys, I've just been recuperating at home, feeling a lot better today. And I thought, gee, why not make another opening? Uh, I have been staring at the booster box for such a long time. And I just want to just open it. Um, Kapu, Bad Boy, Ghastly, Cast Form, Snowy Form, Shuppet, Rockruff, Swirlix. Ooh. Hollow Hatterene. Look at that. That's like a waifu version of Godovar in this generation. Gonna sleeve this bad girl up. A um, couple of trainers. Honey, which somebody uh, in the uh, pre release locally pulled a full R off and was. Uh, oh, it was such a salty moment for me, but I'm not, not gonna lie. I was happy. I was, I was pretty happy for him, but I just wish that person was me. That's what happens every time when I go to a pre release, you know. Uh, always get really average pulls and then in the end ending up having to buy their cars or to trade for it. Um, Sneasel, Swirlix, Barigon, Ladyba, Ghastly, 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 double, double Ghastly, Ghastly squared, Kelkleon, and again Honey and Cyple. Um, I always feel like that it's always uh, more special and more unique uh, to pull out a card that you want yourself rather than buying and owning it um, or trading for it, you can say you yourself pulled it out uh, and nobody else did. And that just makes it that much more sentimental, giving the card more value. Um, ooh, cast form, sunny form. The author is, ah, Yuka Mori. So you can see very, very distinctively Yuka Mori does a lot of these clay, clay like Pokemon uh, art onto the cards. Rotes, Caitlyn, Reverse, oh, that is a waifu right there. Um, Abomina Snow, is that, is that, was that the rare? No, Abomina Snow is the rare. Okay, cool. I did not know that. Ooh, very, very interesting. Komiya Art, the Steenie. Look at that. Oh, that's why you love cards, huh? Um, okay, 
then I was gonna say, I thought I pulled, it, uh, pulled an Abominus snow before, and uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't know. I thought that was an uncommon card, but ooh, let's see. That's another pull right there, I see it. I gotta really do myself better. Um, maybe not spoil it for you guys and myself as well. La Vesta, Deli Bird, a dearling. A Aaron, Aaron, Blitzo looking out into the sea again. Another Blitzo, we're doing squared cards all the time. And the rare is, I'm not gonna look, you guys can see first. Please tell me something good. Ooh, Tornadus V Full Art? It is, is it? Yeah, it is a Full Art Tornadus V. Look at that, is that it? I love how the tail is coming out. I love that, ooh, look at that. Certain angles with the sunlight coming down. That is straight fire, man. Gosh darn, not gonna lie. Um, putting some sleeves back in there. But yeah, I just think that it's that much more special to be able to pull a card out yourself and say you yourself own it and nobody else. That's what I love. Um, and I guess it gives me more sentimental attachment. Um, also, if people were to say, oh, hey, Chris, I want you to have this card or something, it just means that much bit more, like there's more sentimental value rather than, oh yeah, I buy it because I had the money to be able to buy it. We have here, Roats, Goldfish, Cast Form, Weedle, Snow Runt, Old Cemetery, and ooh, Frostlass, wow. And a couple of these uncommon cards, which I will not go through, but wow, Frostlass, oh, reminds me of good old Diamond and Pro days. I used to play her um, from Evolving Snow Runt. I forgot how exactly you do it in the game, but I can't wait to get my hands on to Diamond and Pearl, the game again. Uh, on my Nintendo DS, I spent, oh man, I easily dropped like 200 plus hours onto it. Oh, cool, didn't drop anything. Here we have a Blitzel, Snover, Sneasel, Swirlix, Pari, Flaffy, and Warren again. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving how they are starting to introduce more and more um, old school, well not old school, like sort of Gen 1 to Gen 4 Pokemon cards into the sets. I think uh, they are doing us fans a very, very beautiful fan service. Um, but yeah, let's see what we have here. Diglett, Furfro, Bomb Sweet, Sobo, Mr. One is a Hatina. Ooh, dropped my box of top loaders. Quillfish Reverse, apparently it's a very nice card. Ampharos, Beauty. Beauty of a Electric Boy. Um, moving on. Let's see what we can get. I can just see the pile of cards uh, building up slowly. I'm so not used to opening up a booster box and I am just one hyped boy. Let's see what we get in this one here. Deli Bird, Coughing, Ghastly. Another Blitzo, Snover, Snover Squared, and a Bomb the Snow. There you go. So I'm getting a lot of, a uh, lot of, a lot of cards like uh, regular commons and plus a reverse in a row. Um, very, very interesting. One thing that I heard about the set is the uh, centering and the print quality isn't exactly the best or the most famous for, I guess. Um, Paint centering is really bad for the alternate art, so if you're really, really lucky to have one uh, that is perfect centering, they're saying that uh, it will be wise of you to consider grading. Rare is a past simian. <laughs> he was he was the pre-release bad boy that I got, um, and apparently I was told it wasn't a very nice card. Which, yeah, I, I think after getting into the TCG, having my local friends introduce me into it. I realized he was quite an average little boy, but still epic, epic boy regardless. Score Bunny. Group key, can we get the Salvo? No, we got a Kerbola again. A Skull with it. Ladybot. Reverse, Hatina. The rear is another Ampharos, I'll take it. All right, next pack here. I always like the excitement. It kind of makes me forget why I was so into opening cards back in the day. I am just one happy 30 year old man. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, I had my 30th birthday uh, last week, and then three days later is when I uh, tore my Achilles. So, <laughs> the more you know, welcome to my 30s. Galarian Yamask, Sirlix, Sfeel, Galarian Chestplate, another Passimian. Gosh darn, 
it's four cards from the back, so I might do that trick actually. So let's have a wee look here. We might do the trick. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm too old for the trick, but uh, cold card is away. So what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. I think that's it. Okay, turning it around, we have here a metal energy. I can't wait for the um, beautiful, beautiful uh, dragon Pokemon and dragon energy to be back. I think that's a hit right there. Oh, okay, Clovopus, Heracross. Okay, Marie, Saucepot, we're getting there. And the rare is, ooh, Sanaconda V. I remember uh, one of the guys that I played against in the uh, pre-release had a Sanaconda V and did quite the damage to me. It took me a while to be able to get rid of him, but I did in the end. But yeah, I, I am seriously starting to get more and more into um, trying to compete, be more competitive, learning the game. It's very, very interesting that all it took was me tearing, <laughs> tearing a muscle and tearing a tendon in my body to have interest in playing and learning how to play the game. One, two, three, four, to the back. Okay, let's see what I can, what, what I can get here. Energy, Karen's Conviction. Apparently there's a very nice waifu card as well. Dina Tree Hill, that is the name of that tree. Look at that, Ladybug. Subo, La Resta, cast from Rainy Form. Farfetch, Galarian, Farfetch. See, we're getting that squared again. Uh, Zep Striker. Okay, on to the next pack. So they're saying that there is about 35 secret rares in uh, Chilling Rain. So to be able to complete the set, it's gonna be tall order. So far, I have pulled zero, um, zero, zero, zero uh, rares, uh, secret rares out of 35. So unless you want to buy like 70 booster boxes, uh, you are going to have to buy them off one by one. Kakuna flexing with all the Abby goodness. Caitlin, Rockruff, Hatina, Sphio. Cast form. Ooh, went ahead of myself there. Impact energy. Now that's very interesting. I'm gonna have a re reread of it later. I like how they also make the reverse hollow four energy symbol on the top right hollow four as well. Loving that. And it's the rude, which is not very popular. It's not a very popular Pokemon. Um, we already had him in Shining Face. It's very interesting that they reintroduced the rude back here into Chilling Rain. Okay, so soon as well. We're down to our last couple of packs, and I am stoked and excited. Radio, we are going to do the trick again. I don't know how many more uh, rare cards I'm gonna be able to pull, but uh, I am, you know, don't really care. I feel like a kid again. Darkness Energy, my favorite. Melanie, blah, blah, blah. Okay, one by one, Chris, slow down, be a good boy. Celio, Haunter, a Quillfish. A cast form, regular. I love the knitting work, which is by, oh, okay. It is by Ito. Um, Wheel, Snowrunt. Okay, Crabrawler, Reverse, Rock Ruff, Rare. Ooh, Cobalion. I, I think I have one of these, but I love the, um, I love how simple it is. It is it's like one of them bad boys that's just standing afar on the high mountain, sort of high country hillside, staring down at you. Perfect, I love, love, love it. We're down to, I think, roughly eight more packs. So I am just uh, stoked and excited to keep going. Okay, next pack. Let's see what we can get. Or have we already pulled every single available card there? Look at that. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but the cutting print quality isn't exactly perfecto. But let's see what we get. Okay, water energy. Paragon 2, Weeding Gloves. A Bon Sweet, a Subo. Athena, Kupfu, Ghastly, surely by now. Whirlpeed, the rare is, ho, oh, a Serena. Hopefully by now, I would have completed the entire common set, maybe the uncommons, and then slowly working my way towards, well, I guess trying to complete the set if that's even possible. Um, but let's see what we can get in our last few packs. Okay, I'm gonna go the old school way. Uh, Ladybug, Ghastly, Rockruff, Inkay, La Vesta, Karen's Conviction, another Zeb Striker to finish it off. 
Okie dokie, we are coming into the 30 minute mark and I want to try and keep this video within 30 minutes. So let's see what we can get here as well. We're gonna see if there's, we're gonna get rid of all of the commons which we've already seen. Reverse holo is a golet and the rare is another warren. Okie dokie, I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully we can get a hit unless we've already gotten all the V maxes and all the Vs. I think we've gotten a couple of Vs. We've got the Fallout V for tornado, Tornadus. Um, oh, we got a hit right there. Okay, let's do this properly, guys. Beautiful Galarian Slowpoke. One of my favorites out of, of the Galarian Pokemon because I love, love, love the, um, the wrinkles. Just make it that much more herp derpy. And um, yeah, simple. Venipede, a Snorunt. Aaron Grookey, the rare is. Ooh, Blaziken V Max. Okay, there you go. It's not the O art. It's not the O art, but it is a V Max. So I think there, there goes our two V Max pulls being Metagross and the Blaziken. But we are down to six more packs. I hope you guys have been enjoying this pack opening as much as I have been. Um, I'm just stoked that I'm able to do something at home and not having to work. <laughs> Makes me sound lazy, but I, I feel like, ooh, it's another pull. I feel like having a break every now and then is quite good. Let's do this properly then. Hatina, a cast form, a Clovopass, a Golette, Ladybot, Sabled, and, oh, Blaziken V. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. A better than a regular rare, huh? So overall, I feel like there won't be any other pulls within the box, but I'm happy, you know, having this pile of cards right in front of me and being able to organize them afterwards. That is just my childhood right here. Um, let's see what we get in this one. Doesn't seem like there's a pull. We have a Drizzle. Drizzle my Dizzle. And a Galarian Surfetched. Look at that beautiful rare card. I love the thick, thick eyebrows, man. That hits different. We're down to three more packs. Let's see what we can get in these bad boys. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have watched until this very end, I'm very, very thankful. And let's see, doesn't seem to be another hit, but we have a reverse holo Gallade. I love the, the red on the side of Gallade. I wonder if that's, that is that is the leaves, kind of sort of like the maple leaves. Very, very beautiful card indeed. And we're down to two more packs. Okie dokes, let's see what we can finish the box off with. Strong, hopefully. And if not, I am stoked already. I'm just happy to be able to open boxes with y'alls. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I think I ruined it, but there's a gold card right there. Okay, just wondering which gold card it is. Scorvani, Grookey. Bowler, uh, Skovit, Zarud, and Urn of Vitality Gold card. Oh, look at that. I love the little rainbow um, sparkly bits there as well. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful card. Man, I am stoked beyond words. I'm, I'm a happy camper that I'm able to finish off with a gold card, which I believe is not even fully guaranteed for the English sets. With the Japanese per booster box, you are at least guaranteed, I believe, one gold card. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna finish this booster box off with one more booster pack. Okay. We have Patino, a Sphiel, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Single Strike, Heracross, oops, Erotes, Path to the Peak, which is an uncommon card. And the rare is Zap Striker, which probably is like my fifth or sixth Zap Striker Zebra Boy there. So there you guys have it. Ooh, have a Flannery, which I don't think I pulled throughout the entire box as well. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. Uh, thank you all guys so much for um, checking out my Instagram as well. Uh, if you guys haven't, feel free to check that out as well. I know some of you guys have already done that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching me uh, You know, open all these packs. I'm really, really stoked and I'm a happy boy. Um, and uh, just want to say thank you guys all so much uh, for those of you on Instagram for uh, sharing showing me with love and care uh, for my recovery so I will be um, not able to walk properly for another at least couple of weeks and months so 
I'm glad I have a hobby that doesn't require like um, a lot of physical exertion. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, sexy ass people. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll catch you guys later.